Welcome back, this is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Today we're going to talk about food and Hashimoto's thyroiditis. So the title says here, potential dietary triggers after your Hashimoto's gene turns on. Okay, so what does that mean? So if you have a, uh, an autoimmune disease called Hashimoto's thyroiditis, there are potential triggers or foods uh, that can create problems or flare-ups of the disease itself. So we're gonna review some of them. Last week I mentioned uh, um, casein or milk and gluten or wheat products, right? So let's go into it a little bit in more in depth. So different dietary uh, triggers can be gluten or gluten-containing foods. High sodium intake can also be a potential trigger iodine. Now iodine can be a little bit controversial because iodine is necessary for the production of thyroid hormone, but in excessive amounts or uh, incorrect levels, it can potentially be a trigger for uh, the thyroid antibodies and, and the release of thyroid hormone. So you can actually have a flare-up as a result of dietary or supplemental the iodine. All right? So that's a controversial topic, but uh, my feeling is that iodine can be a trigger for Hashimoto's thyroiditis. The lack of dietary diversity. What that means is if your gut diversity is damaged because you're not eating a variety of food. So you need to have a lot of fiber, vegetable um, fibers in order for your gut to be more diverse, right? Because your gut microbiome is responsible for a lot of different things including the conversion of thyroid hormone to active thyroid hormone, okay? So dietary uh, diversity is very important for that. Also, in the United States, glyphosate is used in a lot of different foods and crops. So if, you use a lot, if they use a lot of herbicides, pesticides on the crops itself, it can actually change the molecular makeup of these proteins, right? Especially gluten. The other one is pro-inflammatory diets. What is a pro-inflammatory diet? Well, simply put, uh, the standard American diet is pro-inflammatory. What does that mean? So you get up in the morning, you're in a rush, you get a, a cup of coffee with three sugars and cream, and then you get a bagel, right, with cream cheese. That diet is pro-inflammatory. So you go to lunch, you're busy, you grab a pizza which contains gluten, dairy, and tomato sauce, right? And tomato sauce in itself can be problematic for some patients. But what I'm saying is, if you look at your dietary intake throughout the day, you definitely have issues with pro-inflammatory foods, all right? Grains, not just gluten-containing grains, but all grains can cross-react to gluten. Therefore, uh, sometimes when we take a patient, we'll go um, to a completely grain-free diet rather than just a gluten-free diet. So, for example, uh, a gluten-free grain might be rice, quinoa, or millet. However, some of the dietary proteins in there look very similar in their amino acid sequencing um, to gluten. Therefore, it cross-reacts. Casein, which is milk. Albumin. Now, albumin is found in eggs. If you have issues with eggs and you don't realize it, it can actually be a potential trigger for Hashimoto's thyroiditis. The other one is cross-reactive uh, proteins. I kind of mentioned that with uh, dietary proteins, but there are other uh, proteins that can cross-react with gluten. And then and that in turn will cross-react with your thyroid. So it's a problem. When we look at these types of foods, any one of them could potentially cause a trigger for Hashimoto's thyroiditis, flaring up your thyroid gland and increasing your thyroid hormone or decreasing your thyroid hormone. It will go through this roller coaster ride of your thyroid hormones fluctuating. And that is a classic sign of Hashimoto's thyroiditis. All right, so look at your potential triggers. There are ways to test for these types of foods. Um, we use a company called Cyrix Labs, but there are other labs that you can test 
to see if you have problems or an inflammatory uh, response uh, to certain dietary proteins, okay? My name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. We'll see you guys next week on the healthy side.